This is a day that my father has made. I will rejoice. Yeah, I thank you for this morning. Oh, it's a brand new day. Little bird, they thank you as they sing. So let's all get down and pray. Welcome, Teacher the Prof fans, to another episode of Teacher the Prof. And um, I'm your Sula Teach, and with me, as usual, we're co-host Prof. And we have a full house tonight, as you can see. And some new faces. Welcome, ladies, to the program. Hey. I'm going to allow Prof to give a formal introduction to our special guest tonight. Well, before I begin my introduction, um, thank you very much for joining us. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and engage. Um, so our guest tonight is Winsome, who is an accomplished author. And then we have Maureen, a very Raise good friend of mine. Winsome. Raise hand. Raise hand. Winsome. Winsome. Yeah. And then we have Maureen, who is Lady Love. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Maureen, I'm a lot of love. Who's <laughs> <laughs> a very good friend of mine. I've known Maureen for 20 odd years, maybe 30. Yeah. Um, so they're gonna they're joining us tonight to um give a warm perspective on our last and, conversation. And Winsome is just a, accomplished artist. Just that. A New York Times a New York Times bestseller. Uh, no, 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 no friend, no relative, no, She's no, my family, no, just, she's my cousin. Yeah, see, no man, I, I see, no. I mention it. Hey, no man. Seems, I didn't want to see his bias. No, one, one is my good friend and Winsome is just Winsome. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> Winsome. I didn't want to... 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 No, no you know, me I look friend. Me I look friend. I'm not... <laughs> just in case. <laughs> I was trying to avoid nepotism, all right? And we have Sam as usual. You may say as usual, Sam. I don't mean, sir. He's like me. You know? <laughs> Some is part of the crew, so I'm not have to introduce Sammy. <laughs> I thought we get relegated to know we. The people don't know you. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what we're going to talk about now, now that we have um, invited two ladies, I wonder what's a twist. Dun, dun, dun. Da, da, da. <laughs> well, I'll, uh, well, I'll just jump in and say in. I reached out to Craig when he sent me a video to watch. And so when I watched it, it was interesting. But then I responded to him, this perspective is so one-sided. Because we all, the same way you guys get together and have conversations, we as women, we have, I have a whole group, a whole crew. And we have these conversations all the time. I'm over 50 years old. A lot of times when you find relationship, it's not just about sex. And I felt like as I watched it, a lot of push was was about the sex and it's not there's a lot of factors that play into relationship black folks like relationship we're not a monolith we're very diverse but we're also complex and when you have a woman and a man even in a relationship yeah sex is a part of a relationship but it's not the main drive as a, a younger well you see young women date older men all the time they're not dating older men just for sex and the other way, but safety, security, compassion, empathy. There's other factors that play into it. Mm -hmm. Nature versus nurture does still go on in relationship. So they're seeking different things. Yeah, sex is a part of it, but also when women have menopause, I was telling Craig, it doesn't mean that they cling, cling and shut down. These new 50-year-old women, they're like 35. They ready to go. What? We don't have to worry about taking birth control, getting <laughs> pregnant. Let's get it. Like, so that perspective. I, 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 I don't know who are with some friends and circle. But you you want to meet your them. friends you and circle. Out, no, 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 let out. me say they are good friends and good circle. In that good you want to meet you want to meet them, right? Yeah, but them they represent majority. You know, no, what the new, but, up, but what, you know what the new woman, you know what the new woman that you speak of? Independence. It's not no, about sex and no birth you, control though. and no, let's go. No, it's about busy, 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 me, me, me. I'm free. I'm this. Is not new. It's I like your friends. 
I like your friends. <laughs> Listen, Independence is not new, though. Go ahead, Lady Love. Go Listen. Ahead. I agree with Winsome 100%. It I'm is. not surprised. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> no. God power. Put the power. Because Winsome is a female, but she hit the nail exactly on the head. It is not about just the sex. Yeah, it is. Sex is important. But there's other factors that drives us. And as she says, one of the key points is, okay, we don't have to worry about having kids so the sex is turn up a hundred percent but you mess with the wrong woman boo we not the problem yeah, you the apart problem. from that you have to <laughs> you have to also remember that there is romance yeah. romance and sometimes when a woman hit menopause men tends to forget that we need romance we just don't need okay one slap and it's done there's sometimes when you can substitute the sex for romance and sex just substitute other stuff. But it don't have to be the way you guys were talking about it on the last um the last uh video program, yes. Video program that I watched. It was yeah. all about okay, the woman wants a younger man where he can ride her till 24-7 and it was sex, sex, sex. It is not about that it is about we reaching a pinnacle where we as it says menopause we are on a small pause after we go through that pause listen to me press the right button we are a bentley you need to know oh. how to drive the oh. bentley when we reach oh. menopause. Yes! Before Don't menopause we were a roller we were uh what would i call now, one of the little hunchback, we were one of the <laughs> ones that want to jump and drive and trap in a patrol. What? Preach, men of God, we are Bentley. Your luxury, 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 luxury people. How to drive it. We're not rough, we're not tough. You have to know how to take your oh. time. We are you, Bentleys. You can't change. And one of the things you can't I got from that, one of the things I got from that, when you guys yeah. kept saying, it was words are powerful and i know this because words is how i feed me how i feed my soul how i feel my body how i feed me and you all keep pushing sex but see it's more than sex you need to push intimacy right there's a softness that comes with it you can still get turned up get lit get what you need to get but both of us need to feel that the connection. it's not one-sided because Tell me. me, I'm not uh, energy. You um, know, I'm just a rubber shit. You getting it back. So, so <laughs> let me get. Let me, let me say a word. Yeah. Uh, so, um, when some lady love, uh, uh, I apologize because I don't know why I listen to two grown ass oh, man both in a pause. Oh, 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 you know, oh, but you know, and I almost believe them. You know, because I mean, let me tell them my talk from experience. I apologize, but. But, but all right, but back to the two, I don't know. At what point, that, I, I do we'll talk about, but we never really, um, I can't remember, so maybe one of them might have to enlighten me, at what point we were pushing that it was sex, or we just mentioned that it's just a part, just a, we just mentioned exactly. it as a part. That's what, so, I, that's, that's what I wanted to do. I, I get, like you guys said, so we just keep keep talking it about sex, sex, sex. I thought, I thought we were balanced. I thought we were balanced. Okay, so tell ah, me what we could. We could. About, we just, that was just a brief. And the only thing we say about the sex, we just say in terms of we are like a, a, a older and a younger person in the relationship. Mm -hmm. um, no. No. And let me correct you right there. I can't remember uh, one of your men encroach on the topic where you said, you know, some women who start having sex pretty early when uh -huh. they menopause is as if okay them belly full of sex and them no one more because them basically had enough sex because them start out at the park early so sammy yeah. like oh yeah i rat out people yeah. how would say that no who said who said what lady love does talking about i can't remember <laughs> no 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 I, I that was just one aspect i said sometimes depend on when people start because if I know from experience, sometimes when you start having sex, maybe from a young and you was running wild, as yes. you get older, you realize, just like point owner said, that sex is not that as the priority in a relationship. 
when you get older, more mature, it's more like you said, a companionship. So I don't know why I don't keep emphasizing that word just. Because, you don't realize, because, hey, you don't realize the flow of, of the... balance ears. Earring. That's the first. You know what that means? Realize, you know, that it's like the moment we hear that. Uh, no, that's not what we're no. here. We're here to talk about the part uh -huh. that we felt was not. Just, oh, that little part. Oh, so, oh, 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 oh. But, but that part is important, right? <laughs> if you stop and think about it, it's important. Because yeah. when we move, just hear me out. When we move into relationships, for us to be balanced as whole people, there are different parts of us that need, that have needs that needs need to be met. Yes. Right? You think of a person, I'm just not a body or a face. I need for my for me to function as a whole, my heart have to be right, my brain have to be right, my intestines have to be right. That's what makes me as a whole. So when little part doesn't fit or it's not working, everything else don't work. And what I'm saying in a relationship, don't think that. When you have an older man and a younger woman or a young, a younger woman, a older woman with a younger man, the reason they're with them is because of sex. And I'm saying that's not necessarily the case. All right. I'm, I'm going to stick here. I'm going to stick on that wisdom. I'm going to take the, the um, younger man, older woman scenario. Now you say it's not, I am saying, we were saying it's mainly sex. Mainly. I want you to refute the mainly for that scenario. I'm older woman, younger man. Because what we were saying. I'm going to refute it. What? No, what we were saying. Because taking your point that after menopause, after the pause, and the replay button starts, you are free sexually. You don't worry about stuff. You don't worry about um, period. You don't worry about kids. And the man at that age is on the decline. We were saying because of that scenario, they tend to go far. The um, young stoller, mm -hmm. you know, the long distance stoller, the, 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 the stallion oh. man, the youth. That's what we're saying. Refute that in I general. I will refute in it. General, you know, in general, no. Everything all, is, let's is be an exception. Clear. Let's be clear. That's just a small sample. That's N in this case. That's oh. not everyone. And, and I agree, we, agree with that, but but, but no, the words, wait, everyone. Wait, wait, wait. He said to refute. I'm going to refute. Oh, okay. Right? Got you, got you, got you. What I'm saying to you is this, that you have also have to take in control all these other cultures. You are talking from who you fuck with. Oh, can I curse? Oh, yeah. Don't let people see that because. <laughs> but the point I'm making is, it's simple this, that might play into it. I am saying it is not all. All right. For, for clarity. It was for like, it was a all or nothing Thinking. No, no, we were talking about in the, in the majority. That's you think. We only the majority. Because, I'm just telling you, and I'm highly educated. It majority. Cross as all, and I would say, like I no, said, to Craig, no, it can't be all. That's, a, no, that's a no. still a small sample. You're still functioning with a small sample. Of no, no, I don't think. I'm think I'm functioning with the larger sample. No, no. No. All right, all right, win some. All right, win some. Not... All right, win some. I'm gonna challenge you again. Since since that is a smaller sample, and sex is not it, that is a smaller sample. For a mature woman, what is it that the younger man is bringing apart from sex? For the balance. But, some, but sometimes it's just fun. It's just someone to sex go fun. somewhere with. Sex do fun. It. Stamina is not only sexual. That's what I want you to get. You're driving sex. It's more to it than sex. That's what I'm that's trying why, to get that, you to that, understand. That's why, that's why it doesn't work. Yeah, no. It doesn't work. no, it doesn't work because we don't want it to work. How about that? <laughs> no, 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 not buying. We're not buying. We're not buying. Wrong crowd. Not buying that. Also, this is also another factor. And <laughs> what I say, all our, what you're saying, it's all. But you have to remember this. Sometimes when you're in a relationship, especially a relationship that is over 20 years, 30 years, and a lady reach menopause, the men, I'm not going to say, well, I'm going to put this on both sides, men or women, we tend to get something called comfortable in our sex life. And complacent, and so, complacent, yeah. yeah. Comfortable and complacent. So guess what? It's the same old rub my shoulder, bite my breast, squeeze my rail, me, all of that, and slam, bam, and we're done. When we reach a certain age of maturity at 50, 
Listen to me. Some man don't have a clue about romance. Right, share, 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 share some of Listen. the things that we're missing. Right. Okay. Some of you know sex. One of know romance. One of the things that, okay, rub ears, blowing on my ears, Trigger like a something, push a tug in on my ears are romance. No. Oh, no, 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 nothing about getting some rose petal, sprinkle it on the floor, oh. come home early, bed, lie down in the bed. You know what I mean? Drop two like a petal right as some cover, the like a front part with two like a rose. Now when wife come in and say, I baby, no, may I wait a long time for you? Wally pound and know that. On a Stick in the mentality of the past and refuse to learn. Oh man, a 50 a 50 we have listen, matured. So listen, so I am not gonna say why a younger woman would go for a younger man, but it all comes down to sometimes the younger man bring new ideas, fresh thought. And so, this is where the older men sometimes do not want to change so, them. So yeah, we have to that is realistic but what you have to understand is that both it's it go vice versa the same goal from a man point of view dealing with a lot of uh, over it's just like you said over 20 30 years sometimes things just get stale people get comfortable and complacent so them just um you just subconsciously not thinking about fabric because sometimes just the, 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 the just dealing with life in our relationship, it, it just so it's just like your game. The world is changing, change with your the world. What you come out with, win something, you make it feel change, change, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. change with your partner, communicate, ask her what she likes, what she doesn't like. Be and verbal. Ask, win some, win so one sided, win some, win some, win some one sided. Why you can't say, ask him, ask him what yes. he likes. Why well, you can't said, say, ask them. your mate. And and no, your you mate. said, ask her. You said, her. Ask her <laughs> what she likes. Ask her, her and ask him. So him. Thank you. That's Thank you. Now for four sort of balance. Hey, win some. So win some. It's when the night done, you'll be a balanced woman. You're going to be a balanced woman after the night. You. Let me you understand. Want... You're going to be balanced when the night is done. <laughs> First of all, I'm highly balanced. You and I can bring something to the conversation. Ramsey, where you want your aunt for now? Listen, listen. Wait, wait, wait. You said something a while ago that, that, that shook me a bit. So right. you're saying a young boy, a man. young man. Yes. Knows bring fresh ideas. More? Bring fresh ideas. About the game that we do. Listen, nah, listen. you've been stuck in yes. a marriage forever. You out of the game. That yeah, man. Listen. No, no, listen. No, no, not not us. Not, us. not us. Not us. Not us. Not us. Listen. Excuse, prof. Excuses. We're no, we're we're listen. well read. We're well read. It's not a matter of well read, you know, Ramsey. We are in tune prof. with. Yeah, but guess what, Mr. Professor? Uno so well in tune that sometimes Uno don't want to change. The lady said, Baby, guess what? Make oh, what you do. Oh, oh, no, man, no, man, no, we're no, we're no, we're flexible, we're flexible. We're flexible. No, listen, no. It's both ways, whether it's a female or a male, not every partner is willing to change. You're right. Some whether it is a male or a female, if the man come over and say, baby, try this. No, I'm not going to try this because you want me to go up on my head top and rub out the top of my ear. All right, guess what? Flip over by your back. Half a man or acrobat. I can't bend like that. So you see, we get twist and come into it. So my the man who no want to twist me and bend me like a pretzel. I was correct. Now, but I twist me and bend like a pretzel. Just kind of curl me over. I true, I true, I true. But little love. Lady love, that's the point we are making you know, where we not speak from a woman's point of view, which I understand and we respect it because we as men now go know from phone aside. But also from our point of view, just like where I say, a lot of times a man might want the woman certain things, and just like how one might say the romance where yeah. it's just a vice versa thing. Certain things we might expect or would like to bring to our after. Remember, I think Craig the touched that topic. I said. After a while in our relationship, some women then just not take care of themselves, let themselves go. 
And then, you know, so they get a turn off. So it's just like the same way as the way from a man point of view or from a woman point of view, you know, maybe the man locking the, the romance, which it does happen in a relationship with a long term. No care. And it's not that you don't know. It's just more time application. Knowing and applying is two different things. And listen to me now, baby. On a set reasonable expectation, if uh, it's over five. Both ways. Both ways. Listen to me. Both ways. <laughs> I talk for the man them now. Yeah. If your wife or your mate is over 300 pounds, don't expect her to clap <laughs> for like a man. It's not going to It's not going to happen. No, man, don't I'm not a lady of a liar tell her. I know 200 pounds is flexible. Yeah, but guess what? I know everybody can climb the one like Spider Woman. <laughs> and bring in a pole and expect say she bigger you want, she lap it on you and ride like a cowboy. It, it. Set reasonable expectation. If she's flexible, we can do the pretzel thing. But not come in a boy, you know what I read? Yeah. Bend up like pretzel. Mm -mm, boy. No, it's not. Oh, so may, I give me, <laughs> may I give you a lady love a new name? Miss Missionary. Miss Missionary. No, I, I lie. You're telling her. Listen to me. You saw me smile. Me have five feet. Don't get that started. I'm a now call police. I'll when the host the fire fire door out it with water. Me Don't get that started. With water. Yes, sir. But set reasonable expectations. In life, we only have one life to live. And if we select a partner, this is my thing. If I select a partner, and that is my life. I'm partner. Me not have no barrier in my bed. Come me and my partner. Me not in another three, four, five, six, and ten. Some. There's so no somebody I go get acid or hot water. Okay. So in the confine of my personal space, me not have no qualms. You have no inhibition, right? Yeah, me not have nothing. <clears throat> And the young man them now, no, the young men, the young men not gonna time. want to try so many adventurous things. They they don't reach that stage yet. No, what I mean, they bring, I mean, to, the I mean, they bring to the table. No, no, that's the laws, man. Because when you're younger, you're more adventurous. No, no, when no, no. Win some, no, win some adventure is different from a twenty and a thirty. What adventure? No, you'll, you'll be surprised, man. No, especially no, especially no. You'll be surprised, no. You know, remember, can they make sports a lot more now, you know. No, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Our 20 and freedom 20 are two different. Are different, are different, are different are right. Our 20 and 20 are different 20. You know? They're exposed to a lot more now. But no, no, but, but um, go ahead, lady love. You see, once again, it go back to the mindset. Yeah. 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 Say our 20 different from for them 20. It's not a matter about with a 20 and 20. The fuck of the matter is this. You have a partner, she reached menopause. This is where both of you, both partner, is going to try different stuff. Is that no, I I th no, I think you missed the point, um, Lady Love, about that 20 and this 20. You missed the point totally. But, but, from a men, men perspective, men. Oh, and that, we were saying that yeah. the things that we were willing to try yeah. when we were 20, 20 is not the thing. They're going beyond that now at this in this. Yeah, program. because they're exposed to a lot more. Yeah, yeah, they have access to porn. They're so, seeing it more. Easily. Right they easily. And so, and they bring that thinking that that's what they're going to get and that women do these things. And at the end of the day, there's some women out there willing to do whatever. I'm going to tell you a true story. I'll never forget. My husband had bought a Harley. I hate motorcycles. He had it for over a year and I would not get on the, the motorcycle with them. And I, we had moved to Illinois and I started, I was working at a school and one of the ladies came and she says, you know, I saw your husband and a bunch of motorcycle people. And, but you weren't there. I said, oh, I don't get on it. And she says, you better start getting on that motorcycle with your husband. Because if you don't, someone else will. And that was the best advice she gave me. Because what she was saying to me is simply this. It's the same thing we used to hear that mm -hmm. people say about white women. People would say, well, the only reason black men with white women is because they do these things and they do that and they submissive, like all these things. And black women got hit. They realized, listen, if I'm going to keep my man, I need to be there wholeheartedly for my man. Yes. That, yeah. Those have changed. We have 20 years ago when we were 20 in the 1990s, and these 20 years, we didn't have access so easily readable. Porn and all these things. These kids come, they're watching, coming and winning the try shit because the woman or the man, are, ooh, 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 and they want to experience that. Yeah. The biggest thing that here, it doesn't matter 
if the woman is 50, the dude is 35 or 20 or 18. The biggest thing in every relationship that's going to make you hit that sexual peak is to communicate. Tell your mates what it is you like. You want. Listen to him or her say what they like. I have had a man that I literally had to tell him what to do to make me feel good. You can have these conversations. They're not hard to have. You just have to be vulnerable. Put yourself out there. Because think about it like this. If you're in a relationship, both people need to be happy. But you can start talking to each other and build on that. That's all I I'm mean, saying. it should I mean it shouldn't be difficult. I mean that's something I do from day one. You know, I want to know what you like. You're not the same person <laughs> that I had sex with 20 years ago. Yeah, you know, I mean what about know, the ex what about the experience that men face with women? They like us to discover. They don't like to tell us. They exactly. want us to discover. And that, 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 I don't know why men to make that mistake. I, I asked questions. I should know. Like, if the man had come yeah. and said, well, you should know what I want. That's, that's, I think grown people should be able to communicate, like you said. Communicate. You need to ask. You need I to ask. have these conversations. Uh, I don't ask anybody. You're told? Yes. If I'm, not told, I, if I'm not told, I can't service you. You have yeah. to tell and everyone is different. You know, a lot of people don't know this, but this is a true statement. You ever walk into a restaurant and the food smells amazing and Im immediately your mouth starts to water? Mm -hmm. Do you know every 14 days our taste buds change? Do you know when we're smelling something that's so delicious? It's because two senses are working together. Yeah. Right. It's the same thing in a relationship. One thing can't do all the work. Your body can't function just because the heart is moving. The brain, everything needs to be intact. They're communicating. The brain is sending message. It's communicating. You need to bring that concept to your relationship. But, 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 so let me ask a question. You guys have had these talks and you get pushed back or they're like, you should know or you handle that? I think for me, no, no I'm asking Sammy. And oh, okay. Because they no, were like, that, 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 that's a no, no, no. You, you, uh, you know, last week I said this, you know, say everything we're both of on the say, it's not like there's not merit to it. I agree with a lot of stuff on the set, but oh, at, a lot of times we're not speaking from one point. Life is not that simple as you let it um, um, sound in terms of like a lot of ladies wear, uh, just like it's an old. Some people are more outgoing than others. Some you can have that conversation with easily. Some is like pulling, it's like you're pulling teeth. It's not easy, them not comfortable talking about, uh, and I'm talking, you know, both men and women. So mm -hmm. like yes, you say, right. you well, say communication, that is, everybody know all of these information, like communication is the essential, mm -hmm. but why don't the divorce rate so high? Let Most me tell you something. Last July, I went to a symposium. And it's put on by the World Health Organization. And it's about sexual trauma and assault. And to me, I wasn't shocked at the data, but they broke down the countries that had the most sexual assault. That <laughs> means girls or women being raped under the age of 14. Mm -hmm. A lot of those Africa, I shouldn't say a lot, but some African countries, Congo, but for me, Seeing that the Jamaica, that Jamaica tiny island had 31 percent. What? What? That was crazy to me, but not really, because because you and I have this conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I've had this conversation with, like, it's the lack of respect. It's the last lack of culture. Yes, culturally, you're, yes. It you're is. messing. You end up with with women that have trauma that they never shared with that's others. True. Yeah, you that's, that's true. no. The way they approach sex and relationships will differ. That's why I'm saying to you guys, that small sample is just a small sample. You might be dealing with women that never disclose or never acknowledge the sexual yeah. traumatic experience they've had. Right? Because if you're yeah. a young girl and no one is teaching you about your body or teaching someone how to love you, and then you grow up in a household where you don't see a great marriage. You don't know what it is to be in a relationship. You don't know what it looked like. You don't even know what it's supposed to look like. 
right? This is generational trauma, eugenic, all these different things play into it. You don't know these things. So yeah, well, they don't know to do this. Yeah, but I was sexually assaulted in the military and I didn't tell people for, for over 25 years. I had to literally go to therapy. Yeah. I had to see, me and my cousin, we talk about it. I had to see a, a therapist that specialized in sex, specialized in mental health. It's like, it's a lot of trauma. And it's after I started healing that I became open, that I can have these conversations. Yeah, you guys are dealing with women that you don't even know what they've been through. But 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 to, but okay um with that um win some but how does somebody a man deal with that situation where he don't he don't know about because that's right yeah. that's yeah. why I say you communicate and it's up to them to share if they don't want to share there you go. Listen, oh, so how would you advise a man to deal with that situation then, from your experience then? say that again how would you advise a man say a man married to a woman maybe she might be experiencing that but she's not the type that's going to open up her she's not how would you advise that man to deal with that situation? I always tell people you need to look at how mm -hmm. you started. Mm -hmm. People just don't change overnight. Because the reality of this is you tell them all the time the way you get them is the what you need to keep doing so they can so you can maintain them. To sustain them and maintain right. them, to retain them, you got to keep on doing what you did when you attained them. It's the same, simple as that. If you're in a relationship and you might you might you might not know. And you try to talk, but first of all, nobody was trying to talk. You just come in, well, they expect me. No, I don't, listen, I'm only gonna speak for me. I'm not gonna speak for all women, but I'm letting you know, I'm gonna relate, we, I'm telling you what I like and what I don't like. I'm telling you what I'm willing to do and what I won't do. So it's no shock when I'm not doing what you think I should do. And I'm not shocked when you're not doing, cause you said, well, I don't do that. And I respect that. I feel like, we don't communicate because for years I didn't communicate. That's what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you that question, Winsome. How, how, before you got therapy and you learned to open up, how that's was what, that? Before? That's what I was getting ready to tell you. The relationships that I had that didn't work were the ones that I wasn't honest with. Mm. And, of, and I realized in therapy, no wonder they weren't working because I wasn't even honest with me. Yeah, well, yeah. I be honest with tell them, I, I wasn't even having that conversation with myself. And that's the dilemma, because you have overcome that, but many women are stuck there. They're and still with, stuck with, there. with you speaking about the 31% of trauma um, under 14 that the women in Jamaica faces, you can see the amount of um, adult relationship that is not working out because they are not open up, because they didn't get um, treated, no, no counseling, no therapy. And yeah. the lack of communication, the culture is wrong because our culture disrespect women from the get-go. That's my point. Right? The most disrespected women. And we have to learn, we have to learn from our youth days to undo that. What we learn in school, what yeah. we see in school, you know, what we boys grew up to, to doing those call a girl and touch a girl, really. To make a culture where we don't um, respect space, personal space. That's our culture. Exactly. So for you to become a, a, a better man. We have to undo all of that. And then we meet a woman that has her history not communicating. Yes. It's bound to fail. Yes. It's bound to fail. So there's a lot of problem in our relationship, in our society. And um, this is helping, you know, because Winsome is the, the perfect person. And I yeah. don't know Lady Love side in After terms of you this drag specific. Me for like 30 minutes, you know. now the perfect person. <laughs> No, the perf and the topic and this specific. And the, and the, yeah, because we, we touched on a little of that last week. Uh, specific you know. topic. That's a yeah. specific topic. With yeah. I didn't want to be this vulnerable, but you know what? If I don't care, maybe three women watch this. Or yeah, 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 men, yeah. Maybe someone, but even one, even one, even one. Yeah. Even one you know. So, so, so uh, since, like you said, um, when someone and being on this platform now, where just like what you said. Maybe because somebody, another young lady might be, or a woman grown, because you'd be surprised a lot of women our age. Uh, and they, so just like you think, she listening to you, getting that confidence now, what would you advise, your advice for any woman that's going through that at any age, young, old, middle age? 
Well, the first thing you need to do, you need to address your trauma. I, I told Craig this, and you know, it's no secret. I didn't talk to my family for years. I still don't fuck with them. But so, so. I'm part of the problem because I didn't share a lot of stuff that happened. But I think also I felt like no one asked. Like they saw I was all whacked off. I was never on drugs because I've never, I don't smoke, drink, none of that stuff. But no one questioned because it was so common and normalized. Even when we look, I have two aunts I spoke to about this. And to hear their story as 12 and 13 year old growing up in Jamaica with the same trauma. And my trauma happened in the United States. Mm -hmm. And so when I went to that symposium, I see, I'm hearing it a lot. I'm seeing it a lot. So a lot of women, we, because again, we expect black women to be strong. Shake it off. Shit mm -hmm. happens. Deal with it. Move forward. And so we go through life with the facade and we're strong. But then when the lights are off, we're dying on the inside. We're dying on the inside. I true story. I tried to commit suicide four times. True story. True story. And at 50 years, who I don't even, I didn't even expect to be here. I turned 51. A few months ago, on my 50th birthday, my book came out. At the end of the year, the New York Times says the best book of the year. Like, you never know what your purpose is. I felt like once I started to address my trauma, then it's like the sun just started literally shining on me. Yeah. What, what, make it, what, what was the trigger for you to decide? What, what, that, I'm, that's what I'm curious about. What was the, the, the turning point? When I went to the hospital on my last suicidal attempt and my, this, my doctor said no more. Mm -hmm. I remember it was this black nurse in Tampa, Florida. She said, aren't you tired? You keep coming in here and it's not working. Aren't you? She kept saying that to me, but I just knew that I just didn't want to live. I felt like nothing was working. Like I, I was depressed. I couldn't get out of bed. I kept going to work. <clears throat> I went college, got a master's degree. I have four master's degree. I was doing, trying to just occupy myself doing stuff, but nothing was working. I just want to die, like die all the time. That's sadness because when someone takes something from you that you never gave them, it just makes you feel like shit all yeah. the time. And it's hard and you don't have any, it's just you. But the turning point was going to the VA and that nurse told me, she says, you need to stop. This is not the way you're supposed to go out. And yeah. then they started getting me therapy and that, and that's, and it helped. It helped. We are proud of you. We are that proud is, of you. Yeah, that is really, um, your story, your life in general is really commendable that you are one of the few that manage to pull yourself from that brink of where you were to where you are now. And that in itself is just awesome. So I really say to you, I am so proud of you and I am thankful that you are here today. Open that you can go, I don't know if you do this, but talk, you know, see if you can give talks in school because there are a lot, a lot, a lot of teenagers and young women out there who are in your shoes and really don't know where to go because they can't talk to a parent, they can't talk to anyone. I appreciate the love and support I'm feeling here and thank you for what I'm saying to you men as well. Tread lightly, mm -hmm. ask, communicate. It's all, not always what it seems. What we put out in the world, what you see, confidence and all that, that's a facade. Because one thing we expect black women to do is to be strong. Because if we're not strong, then we're angry. If we don't, you know, first of all, even with me, if I, you speak too eloquently, you do this, you do that. But no one gives a shit about your journey, about where you started and how you finish. And when it comes to relationship, we can be more empathetic and compassionate. If you want it to work, communicate, ask questions. Baby, what can I do to make you feel better? Baby, what is it that I do that you don't like? Baby, how can we be one? Like, talk, ask questions, move forward. That's that's all I got to say. But
Thanks for inviting. That's all you have to say. You said a lot. You said a, a lot. So yeah, you know, saying Thank that's you, all. Is that Thank you for sharing us. We really appreciate it. And that takes a lot of strength, Winsome, and that's why. When, to get to this point, I know it's a long, hard road because I've experienced a few women that's been down this road. And the, the only thing I could never understand in that situation is a lot of times they always blame themselves or feel like they mm -hmm. contribute. And that was the thing I could never understand. Why would they blame themselves for something that somebody did to them? But mm -hmm. like I said, a lot of times people don't understand when you're not, you know, not coming from that point of view or experience that. Just, and, Trauma is, it goes both ways because you have a lot of men dealing with trauma. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why when they deal with, and they, because like this now, they say this now, an unhappy person cannot make an next person happy. So a lot of times, a lot of men just as unhappy are just, it might not be sexual trauma, it can be mental trauma, society trauma, you know, because everybody in relationship deal with some form of trauma. Mm -hmm. And so it like you said, if it doesn't have that communication or that gentleness toward each, especially when it comes to a relationship, because that's why they say you, be, you should become one to support each other through thick and thin, good and bad, highs and lows of life. And, you know, so like what you say, you no, know, we are the communication to talking to each other, trying to so you can make each other life. But in relationship today, I, I don't think it goes that way. I think a lot of times everybody's what, what can you do for me? Both a men and a, from a man and a woman point of view. Instead of, so it's like that selfishness, I think we come in and destroy a relation. So you're not going to want to communicate. or Because a lot of times people think when they're talking, they're communicating, they're not. They're just talking to tell somebody what they want. But, for the genuine, but Sammy, for the genuine people who mm -hmm. wants to, I think the barrier is trust. Trust. Can I trust this person to open yeah, up to this person? Open up to them Will this person make me better or destroy me with the information? Right? So, um, yes, there are the selfish ones out there, but they are the ones that really want somebody to connect and mm -hmm. move forward. But can I? You know, on both sides, can I? And, and that's, I think that's the trigger right there, you know, like you said, Lose, the trust part, because I think both men and women, women looking for the same thing at some point. Both of them want to be happy. Because I always say that why people get involved in relationship if they're not going to, you know, and especially with the trust point. Because I always say, if I don't trust somebody, I can't say I've been with them. To say I'm going to be, have a relationship with them, much less got married. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people I see get married and they don't trust, you know. And no, but, but the trust comes in various forms. You can't mm -hmm. trust the person to be um, faithful, to uh -huh. be supportive. Provide. But that information, can I trust him with this information? That, yeah. You can't trust him with a lot of things, so, but can I trust him with this? That is dear to me. Can that information that makes you vulnerable enough? Yeah, yeah. The thing that makes you vulnerable. That's true. That's, true. That's, true. That's, not, that's a hard thing to deal with, boy. That though, especially when some situation like, and like they said, they give you, a, it takes a lot of strength. And that says a lot about you win some, because it does. And especially to share it now with all of us. I don't want to think that we patronizing you or anything like that, because no. it, 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 I think all of us genuinely mean it because we can, like I said, I, I think all three of us have this, um, said this already. Me and uh, Craig and, and, and Teach said the same thing that from a man point of view, if that ever happened to us, I don't know what would I do, much less. So we, it, it's, you can know that's a tough thing to do. And it, yeah. You know, so that's why I have to, that's why I ask you that question. Where, from a man point of view, dealing with a woman, where she's not willing, because like I said, we lose say the trust part. She don't know if she can trust her to to how could, how could a man get that woman to open up or to trust I him? Don't, I don't think the man can do anything. It comes okay. the person, the person, the she victim. Be ready to tell her story. Yeah, but I think also one of the biggest thing that. Hmm people, not just black people, why Hispanic, everyone, we stay in places that we're not supposed to be in. We stay in relationships that's not working, hoping that they'll change. Change, yeah. You know where you fit in. If it's not working, if you're in a relationship, you can love the person, you always love them. But if it's not working, life is short. Why spend 20 years trying to make something work? If they didn't open up in 20, they're not going to open. Just wake up and open up. 
right? So yeah. you have to know, you know, I'm not telling you to be selfish, but what I'm telling you, you need to be in tune with yourself. That's what I'm telling you. Because if you're dating someone, the communication is not working. This, why are you staying? Your needs still need to be met. And all it says is that y'all are not right for each other. There's someone for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of people um, take years to get to that point, Winsome. Mm -hmm. You know, and then when you get to that point, they say, well, I, I've been here Wait. so long. Why not just continue? I can't bother mm -hmm. to try somebody new searching for that person. They don't want to start that over. Not necessarily but that's the, the complacency the lady love Maureen was talking about, right? They get comfortable. I listen, <laughs> I'm not lying. Craig will tell, I dip. I dip in a minute. If it's not suiting me, I'm out because I know what I want and I know what I need. Yes. All right. For me, I have been married this year, make it what, 29 years since I'm married. So I'm 29 years married in the game. When I got married, I was 24 years old. And I had a perfect, in my mind, I had the perfect template to follow, which was my parents. Regardless that they have been married over decades. My dad had kids on the outside and my mom stayed in that relationship and I would ask her why do you stay in that marriage knowing that he has kids on the outside and she said you know what I stayed because of you guys I didn't want to leave and the next man come in and maybe they abuse you guys or you know whatever the case might be it might could have happened and she stayed and I said I know what I respect you for staying but then you compromise your happiness because you stay for us and that made you unhappy. Why not leave? You don't have to get a man to be beside you. Raise your children on your own. But she was coming or she's coming from oh, back in the days where, you know, when you get married, you, you stay. Yeah. Even if the man whip you with a pot and a frying pan till death do a spot, them stay. I value that. But at the same time, I said to my mom, listen, I have learned from what I see in the home here as a young lady. For me personally, I do not want a mate that raise him hand because him raise him hand, he might end up with one hand. I don't want a drinker because if you drink up my money and can't maintain the family, I'm done. So there were certain things as a young lady growing up that I already tell myself, I did not want in a mate. Yeah. So when I started to say, okay, I reach a point where, all right, some people said 23 was too young to get married. Guess what? The minute I got pregnant, he was the perfect mate. He was everything that I was looking for at that time. We got married, we had two more kids. And as we grow older, we change, I change, he change. And we love the changes. It's not gonna be, well, for me, it's not a pretty road where you can say, okay, it's sunshine and roses and we just sing in Kumbaya. It has its up, it has its down. But in marriages, what I realize in some marriages and working at the courthouse in the divorce section, a lot of marriages, people do not want to put in the work. Uh, they don't want to put in the work. That is true. Example of what do you call work? Okay. Just break it on a little bit for us. For work, I mean, not because you have an argument tonight and you don't solve it and tomorrow and your friend coming at you is left him or whatever, you decide, I'm just going to throw it away. If he's a good man, and he's a great dad, and he's a great provider. Try and make it work. I am not going to say, okay, if you cheat on you, stay with him, because if my husband cheat on him, hey, that's a totally different thing. But marriage take work. You work at it just like a job. You have to put in the work. You put in the time. You put in the effort. You have to keep the home clean. You have to keep your love life vital. It has to be 
everything has to be in it because once you start to neglect one area, it's mm. like a domino effect. You would neglect one area, the next one fall down and the next one fall down. And you also have to have a partner that is willing to work with you while both of you work it. Yeah. Yeah, you Reason. both have to work it constantly. Marriage, you can't take a time off. Marriage don't take a vacation. You can't take a time off in a marriage. I want the popular, can... popular thing that we are on a break. You're not subscribed to that. Go break? ahead. In marriage? We are on a, we are, yeah, we are on a break. No, 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 no. You, there's no time off. There's no break in yeah. marriage. Right? It work. You work it. My thing is this, and this is what I do in my marriage. If my husband and I have a difference, I do not quarrel or we do not discuss anything inside my home. My home is my sanctuary. It's my positive zone. So if we have anything going on, we jump in the car, we drive to a, maybe the park, maybe to a parking lot, and we sit there and we talk about it get it resolved, we're on the same boat, all right, I'm all right, you're done, I'm all right, I'm done, we'll go warm, we nice. I do not bring nothing negative through my door. That is my main rule. Yes. If you dare your work and there's some issue at work and you're upset and you're unhappy, when you come in, before you walk through my door, read phone to 10, come in. And if, ten, and if 10 don't work, continue counting until it works. Yes. <laughs> but when you come in, you're coming into a positive, loving environment. In the night, we can sit down and say, boy, you know, this happened on the job, that happened on the But the ignorance, arrogant, don't bring it home. And sometimes we, as couples, we bring home stuff that never should have gone through our door in the first place. We're bringing a lot of garbage. Baggage. And, and sometimes when we bring it in, it don't leave. True. It it's creates a really, negative environment. Yes. It, it, and it, it wasn't meant for you, but you catch it. Exactly. And it stays there and it lingers there. So leave all of that outside. I'm not going to say everything is going to solve in one night. Because sometimes I'm in bucket and I'm like, you know what? May we deal with this in the morning. And I'm saying, no, 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 no. To be continued. To be continued. <laughs> yeah. And for him saying, no, 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 no. Okay, so tomorrow when me wake up, I don't want to talk about it. So, you know, I wake up and him start elbow me and I'm saying, I'm saying, youth, we are deal with it in the morning. No, we are deal with it tonight. So, of course, me have to get up and we deal with it. We go to bed in the morning, I wake up. And it's like, you know, you wake up in the morning and I remember, like, him says something. I'm saying, wait a minute. Yeah, I was saying, me just, me just had remember what you said last night. Nah, man. I said, well, guess what? You don't say yes from last night. Let's move on. And done. It done. Right. So you have to be careful in a marriage what you bring in. You also have to remember it is not everything you take outside your home. And I've seen this in a lot of marriages. We need to ask what cousin where she think. And uh, we need to go ask Auntie John and Mary Sue, and we're bringing everybody. Come to your brother. Eh? Come to your brother. And your Mom, brother. No, I'm with your brother. I have a, have a, have a, <laughs> him have a problem with it. Eh? Well, this is it, you know. I, I am, my, I have baby 24 siblings, including myself. Yes, sir, 24? 24 of us. Your father, top shutter. All right. <laughs> So it's 24 of us. I want to thank you, my Kerry. <laughs> and if I have to go to the 24 of them for them opinion, at the end of the day, I'm going to dizzy. No, everybody, just be facetious. Everybody. Last week, we could have more brother. You know. <laughs> so everybody's going to come with their own concept and idea. And I remember yeah. when I was about to get married, before my dad walked me down the aisle, he said, let me tell you something. There's two rules to being married, to having a long last marriage. Rule number one, in every marriage, two person cannot be the fire. Somebody has to be the water. If both of you are blazing at the same time, it's not gonna solve anything. Somebody has to be the water. You're not supposed to be right all the time. And so even if you're right, just for peace sake, just say, I'm sorry, okay, I'm wrong. 
for PC. It, 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 is that compromising, though? Yeah, of course, it's compromising. Uh, it, 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 is that acceptable to accept blame when you are not guilty? No. You, you mean you mean in today's world, no, is it? Yeah. 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 But you yeah, see, yeah. that's the thing. That's the thing. Just for peace sake, sometime I'll say, you know what? Okay, I'm wrong. Even though I'm right, I'll say, you know what? All right, I'm wrong. I think I think men do that more. I, I, so you're gonna come for it to work. I think men have to do that more. I, I mean, say yes or no. I can only talk from my experience. My experience. My experience. Right. Because I'm close to I'm close to you, know, lady love. Next month. Right. The, the 13th of next month is 30. There you go. Awesome. So, so you know, compromise. Um, so yeah, I, I, find, I find that um, <laughs> for, for the ones that work, if you talk to the men 40 years, 50 years of marriage, they will tell you. So, so, we have, no, we have like to say, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 you have to yeah, 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 that loves the same offer compromise a lot, you know. No, you see, this is it. I won't say I'm compromise a lot because I try <laughs> not to ask or try not to do stuff where I'm putting him in another position for him compromise. Yeah, they send a note if this um agree with that or second that you can't get him to send a note if him agree with that. <laughs> in my case, he my name is a 40, so he, <sighs> not, he will admit it. But <laughs> I try not to do it. As often, so that okay, my phone has to get right. So, him after say, All right, baby, yes, baby, no, baby. I try not to do it, but if I do, and him say, All right, more, you're right. Maybe a day or two after, me say, You know, say, me did wrong, you did right, you know, you know, you did really right, or me did right, you know, and him say, All right, you know what, me carry you go for dinner, and make up that one. I'm say, All right, sound like a plan. So there's ways in which you can do it. But a lot of time, the quickest thing nowadays in our marriage is it now work out. Men I love him no more. Him not do what I want him to. He's not a good provider. Or he's not this or he's not. I will jump for divorce. When you done date him, there was um, signs, obviously, where you see before you married him. But some of us, some women fix her upper. Them things, okay, when my married him, we can fix him. Right. Or when my married him, we can change him. Jim. And a lot of times it don't work. What yeah. you see is what you get. You right. can't change a person if the person is not willing to change. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And you that's know? honest. Being honest from the get-go. Just be honest from the get-go. I don't like this and I don't like that. I see this and I don't. You know, just say it from the get-go. Exactly. But you wait until I get the ring. And the marriage paper sign, and then you try to implement the things or suggest the things that you would like to suggest from court, when you find courting, yeah. you know. So you put the cart the, uh, and the cart before the arse, and then it fumbled over, and then you said the man is this and the man. Is, the man is the man that you met. Exactly. The man is the man that you met, you know. Yeah, you but know. some women is just like that. They like the well. Some would say, I like a challenge. Yeah, man, I will marry him after I'm married him. Me get him for go church. When you start to date the man, the man say, him no like church. Him no go to church. After you date him, no, your church people, them a bug you, or them no see your husband come at church. You go home, now you start turn a person at the man back. Mm -hmm. You know, come at church. And the man say, I don't like Ma church. Marriage done. Yeah, so <laughs> woman like, so, so woman like a project, fix her upper? Yes. Okay. Uh, Let me address ask you two ladies this question. Then. Um, at what point you um would be the deal breaker for compromise? It's a broad statement, though. Yeah. Yeah, that that is. Um, for me, for me, for me. Make up, no, make no, try. Listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, 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 no. Are you not right? You got that right now. No, no, yeah, exactly. So those uh, work. No, no, no. I, I, that's why I didn't narrow it down, you know. I didn't narrow it down, you know, because every everybody thing is different. So you have to let them speak from them perspective. That's why I'm saying ask the two of them as the ladies. We say what would be because lady loves a compromise. I'm going to ask Winston, do you believe in compromise as well? And then no, the next, next question, I'm going to say no, where would be the deal breaker for compromise for both of you then? 
Why are you not willing for compromise and, you know? I have a map of my what's deal breakers. I feel like when you approach relationship, you really don't know what it is you want until you experience it or what will work for you until you're in that situation. So. Yes. For me, so when it comes to compromise, I believe in compromising. Because life is about give and take, mm-hmm. how you decide what you need. For me, I'm at a point now where I just want my needs to be met. I want to feed my soul. I do stuff that makes me feel great because for a long time, I didn't know how to do that. I can compromise. If you know, you say, well, I want to do this. And my maid said, well, I want to do that. I said, okay, well, we need to come to a, a compromise. And then we can vote on it. But I do believe Marriage is about give and take and compromising. So I'm willing really to compromise. Yep. Yeah. Would you yeah. compromise your would you compromise your value though? What what would be what would be your deal that you want to compromise on though? That um oh, go no, go ahead, Lady Love. That was you. My faith and my religion. Okay. All right. Yes. Win so back, back yes. to you, Win. Um I don't know. I'm one of those people that don't say like, I will never say I don't like something. I'm going to try it first. I'm that person. So I don't, I don't have a deal breaker for not, for what I will compromise and not compromise, you know? um, Ain't that that a little bit dangerous? I think everybody should know their boundaries before they, you know? Well, as you get older, then, you know, situations might arise where you might find out, okay, I'm not going to compromise in this. So what you want her to do is to pinpoint something right now. And what she's saying. No, no. Is, and that's why I asked, you know, because just dude, like. It's, I was in the military. And I'm. But we never military. have everything, like all the cup thing you want. But you, the basic thing, you notice right away, as you said, your, your religion. And, and it's, it's just like certain people that say, the trust part I wouldn't compromise on. Like somebody being dishonest, you know, a man I put him on. I don't want to say a man I put him on. So everybody should, I think, should know the boundaries where are they not willing to cross. Because yeah. a lot of times, if we wait till they cross that boundary, then by the time it's too late, instead I of was, I was trained by the United States Army to kill. I have no boundaries. But you know what? Prevention better than cure, you know. So before you get to the killing part. <laughs> I don't have any boundaries. <laughs> you know, right, that, I don't know what I will do and won't do if I'm in that position. Red would care. <laughs> I would say I wouldn't kill, but <laughs> no one deprogrammed my killing instinct. So at this point, I'm not <laughs> So dangerous. I'm very dangerous. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I'm very dangerous. I know it. That's why you I, know, I, I, I know funny enough. I don't want nobody to fuck with me. Because I don't know what y'all going to get. <laughs> I, know, I know, funny enough, we had Lady Love, I would say, we just chop off in this, and we just chop off. And I said, boy, Lady Love, dangerous. Then we some come out and tap that. <laughs> I, I took dangerous one again. <laughs> the most, it's like we're going to put the two most dangerous one. <laughs> I never the top shot, I know. <laughs> yeah, man. No, I'm scared, you know. But for if I ask an expression, I want a top chopper. I want a top shotter. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, sir. Can't manage, you know, no. <laughs> Especially with some. I understand what uh, that what some is getting at. To your life journey at 50 plus, you must have seen things where you say, this is not going good with me. That not good to me. That, that's what he wanted. What what it's is your right, you're right. No, this Listen, is, before this, this, I, this, I, would, I, I would say I've never I would never go bungee jumping. And last week one of my writer friends said, I want to go bungee jump. I'm like, I'm there. You went? I, no, we're planning on doing it this summer. My, yeah, but, I'm telling you, I'm at a point in my life, I'm not gonna say what I will and I won't do. When I no, get no, to that, it's not a matter of what you will is like I said, even what you won't. Tolerate as well. Listen, <laughs> real talk. Someone might piss me off and I might kill her. I don't know. I don't know. But, but 20 years ago, I said I would never see me killing somebody. But I, I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's harsh. But you want me to be honest, and I'm telling you how I'm honestly feeling. All right, but ask that specific then. Some specific. We said we can get some specifics then. Okay. Would you tolerate 
your next relationship or say you're married um cheating of course well i i I'll, honestly i'm not gonna say i won't tolerate it no uh, yeah freeze it they're gonna different yeah i'm not gonna uh, say would you forgive would you forgive then yeah but i do believe in forgiveness yeah Right, I do believe in forgiveness, but in my head, in my head, I'm thinking it won't get that far because I'm going to know if this relationship is not working. I'm so numb to everything in the world that I'm quick to say deuces and just go. So I'm thinking that I probably won't be in it long enough for him to cheat on me because if my needs not be met in the beginning, why well, I think I'm going to hang around for knowing it ain't going to never be met. No, say, it, say, say it's been met. No, say it's been met. We're going to do a scenario. Say it's been met. He steps out, things happen, you find out. But it can be, but I, I think, I, I don't, because I honestly don't think my needs can be, that our needs are being met for him to step out. If our needs are being oh, met. No, 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 we, we, so men, men are different. That though, uh -huh. men are different. Hey, hey, what I'm saying to you is, Winsome is going to dip. No, no, but, 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 but what Lowe's is saying, suppose, all right. It's a life win song. You and I together, everything is great. No, she give the answer, Nasami. She give the answer, and then you know, if it happens, she gone. She gone. She gone. Because that's not for me. But I thought you said you would have, you would have, you would have forgive um with the cheating part. I thought you said that. Listen, the same way you probably want to eat and wake up tomorrow and be okay, but you might not be okay when you wake up tomorrow. Honestly, y'all know. How my mind is. I'm not that shit. <laughs> you do not want to get on my bad side. I am de I'm sometimes I'm scared of me. Gentlemen. Everyone. Okay, everyone. I okay. This, yeah, this is a time when I do have to take my leave. I do apologize, but it was a pleasure. pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, Barry. Panel, and it's always a pleasure to give him my opinion. I do hope you guys. Point of, you, you bring a lot of uh, uh, enlightenment to us men. Um, You're welcome. Thank you, Smooches. It was a nice, okay. nice perspective. Yeah. And Thank thanks, you, so thanks again. You're welcome. And you guys have an awesome night. Smooches, smooches, smooches. Enjoy the weekend. You too. Right. Uh, okay, bye. Bye. Yeah, my so point is, is I won't put up with a lot of stuff, but. The reason why, because I don't see me being in it long. If my needs are not being met, I'm not going to hang around. I'm really good about that. I'm really good about sensing, telling people what I need and advocating for a better me. So if it's not for me, I'm not even going to invest and waste anybody's time. This guy told me, what was that, like three months ago, we were at a conference and we went out to eat. And it was crazy because I had just presented at the school. And so we're out, we're eating. And these three kids, they like, this little boy was, kept passing by waving. I just kept passing by waving. Mm -hmm. was a bunch of us. And then him and his dad came. And then the little boy said, aren't you the soulful Sunday lady? And I was like, yeah. And so his dad's like, can I get a bit all this stuff? And so they pulled up chairs and they sat with, there was just three of us female authors just sitting there eating. And so he's going through all these things. He wanted my number and all stuff. And I Googled you and all this crazy stuff. And I'm thinking, dude, I'm a fucking psycho. I don't think I really want to be sitting here at this time, at this moment. But honestly, it's those moments where I know what I need and what I won't need because I'm listening to that conversation. I'm also thinking about what I can add. I'm thinking about that. What is it that I can add? Sometimes I can't add shit. So I'm not going to waste your time because I'm a, I have my second life and I want to live it and enjoy it. Yeah. I don't have time for foolishness. I'm not going to waste time. I'm not going to, now if, like perfect example, Say I started dating this dude, didn't know he was married, right? But then found out he was married. You think I'm staying? I don't care how we build a bond. I can't stay because I already know if you did this to her and this was your wife, what you gonna do to me? Yeah. I think like that. What if all your needs are being met um when some you're modeling love and all of that? No, you know. Never thought you'd have found love and you found blissful love. What are you gonna do that time? No? 
A lot of times it's easier said than done, you know. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think I have fallen in love both than me. I really don't. Yeah. At this, at this time, at this time. At yeah, this yeah, time, yeah. I, yeah. That's, that, that's young girl stuff. I'm over that. No, 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 no. Your time will be back. Um, mm, it's just time, oh, time of a spanner. No, time of a spanner means for every situation. Just when time. you least expect it. <laughs> when you least expect it, you're back there like a yeah. 20 year old. Well, if it comes, we'll see. You know, you know, we're going to rub it in your face. When you send out the invitation and say, you know, <laughs> um, you know, Craig and Sammy and Lousy, you know, I'm getting happy level, you know, <laughs> blissful. <laughs> well, I said, no, no, it can't be same with you. No, I see the weather, I see the weather wedding. Yeah. That's not going to happen. In our, in our yeah, last of us. I'll never get married again. I oh. was a horrible wife. The never only thing yet. I've ever done well in my life is when I was a teacher. I'm not equipped to be in relationships. I realize it because you weren't. You weren't. Well, I shouldn't say I'm not equipped. Exactly. You are so much. No, you are so much more equipped now. He said, "You, you win some today, the 27th of January 2023, could put you back 20, 30 years ago in a new relationship. It's a totally different ball game." True. True. So True. do not say never because you have. Equipment now yeah, that can bring to. to a relationship that makes it work. You don't want to, it's different from you yeah. don't, you can't. I, I, and we respect that. We respect that. Yeah, because yeah, there's a difference. Yeah. But I think you spoke about the right man. Mm -hmm. Don't stay in it if it's wrong. Come out of it because there's a right person for everybody. I You're a right person, don't come around as yet. Yeah, I believe there's a, a there's a right person for everyone. I do believe that. And if you meet him tomorrow, you're gonna just give it up because I don't want to get married again. I don't no, no, want no, no, no. Again. If if he's right for me, I'm gonna know it. Oh, I'm ah, gonna know okay. It. And when you know it, you're gonna accept it, right? Yeah. You, you know, promise? You promise? You promise? A promise is a comfort to a fool. I'll be a fool right <laughs> now. Three fools. Have one of like, uh, uh, three fools. A three fool have one of <laughs> <laughs> so I get labeled. <laughs> <laughs> right now I'll be a fool for with some just to say. Yeah, I'll, give that, I'll give that try. I'm a catch now. Well, I was a catch that, but I'm more focused. I understand me. I understand. I know what relationships should look like. I mm -hmm. know how healthy they can be. I, I have some tools in my toolbox to help maintain them. Right. So that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'll be a great person now for everybody, but you know, right now I just. I think you're not seeing me, man. Sure. Uh, already yeah. a change in life now, but you never know next year. Next Chibokka, month. Chiboka to and trip over him foot. Yeah, man. Trip. Oh. Nothing to fall. You know, dive into it. You know, dive in and love, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you better watch a whip around come. We <laughs> <laughs> don't know. We don't know. What I'm watching now. Maybe up. <laughs> <laughs> You know, well, I, I want wisdom come back. I know. I, what I, I am wish. Here today than I was 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. So, I can, I can, I can. Yeah. Just you mention your journey, and I see it. I see that you're a far better place, and a place to to share love, yeah. share joy, share happiness. Yeah. Why not? Why not? You know. But um, Lady Love says something, and I wanted to ask her. She said that. She don't carry it in the home the, the the drama. She goes out, a drive, a park. I mean, I wonder after thirty years, I should start that. You know, maybe. My, th but you know, when she said that, I was nodding because my therapist told me that. Oh. She told me that, yeah. She's my therapist says that all the time. One of her biggest thing, and it, I've heard this from more than one therapist. Like your bed, your bed is for two things: sleep and sex. Don't eat in it, don't read in it, don't. And I write in my bed and it's horrible. But my therapist also saying, when you're angry, do not bring it through the threshold. Uh -huh. When you're in a relationship, the best place to go, she said, when you start fighting a relationship, that should be your date night for you to go somewhere where you two can sit and uh -huh. talk. Uh -huh. And you know what's good? You know what's good about that? <clears throat> it, it, it's a. It gives you a sense of more control because you're in the public. 
that anger and that this rage behind closed door, you will take that away and just the reasoning, because yeah. you're in public now, it gives you the opportunity to just reason and, you know, put the anger aside. But right, when, yeah. you're, when you're going to deal with it behind closed door, just you and the person, it yeah. might go beyond where you want to take it. Yeah. yeah. That is true. She always said that. Take it out. So why she said I was nodding? Because my therapist swears about that. Oh. I, I'm going to suggest it. I don't know what kind of answer me I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but she, she swears. She says that should never be in your house. She's absolutely right. Your, house, your home, is your sanctuary, it's your safe place and yeah. your safe space. So that if, if a disagreement, that's a perfect, it's a sign we need to get out. Go somewhere, yeah. sit at a restaurant, talk it through, but don't leave that hovering in your household. And suppose, sure. I, suppose a rainstorm or snowstorm, oh, we have to go, you know. Wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I always I bring up some real life situation, you know. <laughs> it's invaluable, you know. It's valuable. It will happen. It, 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 sometimes, you know, practical. You know. It, it, okay. Well, pro well, problem, well, problem, well, choose time in. Go. Yeah, choose time. time. <laughs> go in the garage. Go in the garage then. Oh, yes. All right. All right. All right. We just want a solution, then. So just in case. Go we can't go. <laughs> because. But, but it makes sense, right? Because no, we no, do no, manage no. and monitor ourselves in public. No, so like I said, yeah, we're not to tell us, you know, but but even if when Lady Love said, I'm a strong believer that we are um, negativity. As a matter of fact, I don't even like to listen to stuff that negative are, you know, where it get me upset. Even the news I don't really watch, I listen to like that. So much less your house, your environment, yeah. you know. You, you can deal you deal a lot of crap at work or outside, yeah, but what, yeah, yeah. what you come home, that's supposed to be a because that's the worst thing when you have a home where you can't go. On. This is what for people must say we're married and the house more miserable than outside. So the mafia drive around the block a few times before them can't go in. You know, which that one the rough when you get to that point, boy. Yeah. I, I, you know, that's what makes um the, in Jamaica the bar or the pub or the water oh, pool popular. popular and successful. Men Gas up, you know, drugs up. Uh, Why is that to have that effect? Yes. Because the fear, the, the quarrel, the nag, you know, they don't want to face it, you know, pure. Yeah. That it hide the emotions, they react, you know. So they drink alcohol and then um, they don't hear anything and they wake up and don't remember what they know that you're saying a lot last night, but <laughs> I can't recall, you know, and it works, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it worked. But it's a wrong way to live and um I, I I'm really <clears throat> thinking about Lady Love's um practice. It's, it's something for me to go another twenty to reach that magical fifty. I might have to start implement some new stuff because it's a beat my bad sometime, you know. <laughs> I mean, you know, we get over beat, you know, you know, so I need to put some work. Yeah, I've never heard of it before. It's very interesting, you know. I don't know what. You would, you would try it. You would try it. Yeah. That, I mean, that I mean, sounded kind of weak. Yeah. Yeah. Would you try that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Me have a garage if it's new. No man. No, it's not I don't understand. Attack. We don't know if you might try that. Wow. Uh, English not so good, you know. No, no English not so good, you know. No. Come, come yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going Spanish power safety. Yeah, yeah. No English, no English, no English. You know, no English. I mean, I'm going to no car. The restaurant goes <laughs> good. You know. No, I, 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 I do believe that we bring to your house, but I'm a different breed. To, you know, I, I believe communicating before you get to you're supposed to um. You know, no, that things that will come up, man. I'll yeah, come up. And, and like you said, you know, but no, it definitely is a good thing. But sometimes, like you said, it might not be practical in the middle of the house and, you know, and depends on the mood and the tolerance we're in. Are, are the middle, middle of the night? Yeah, yeah. You, the argument start in the middle of the night. Nobody ever come out of them bed for, you know. So, no, it's a good thing where um to try to implement, um, if I'm just a drive, just a change of scene, right? As Lowe's are saying, the outside of the public, it kind of restrains both parties, hopefully, you know. If, but if both parties sign after it, one thing you can do uh -huh. to mitigate against that um mingle in the night or it's not convenient to go somewhere, is just to have say, all right, let us agree to, to postpone decide. it. No, to postpone it. Postpone it. Yeah. We gotta have it. Yeah. 
it's not conducive right now for yeah, the indoors and the kids. We've got to do it the way that we agreed to, but it's yeah. time right now. So let us agree to postpone. So, it might, should have, so I think it should establish rules then. Rules, yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah, to, to it then. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. The rules of engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, to kind of. Not army style, not army style. Listen, you know, I win some style. <laughs> you know? Yeah, we can't live up to them rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? It's on the day. When I fire so straight, <laughs> me, go, me go fire first and miss, and then what happened to me next? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not afraid. It's just really weird in relationships. I feel like. That's mm -hmm. the whole thing when you're married for a long period of time, right? You're learning with your mate, you're growing with your mate. Times are changing, you are progressing, they're progressing, changes happen. And we just have to embrace them for what it is. But we also have to be willing. We have willing. to be willing to make mistakes. We have to be vulnerable. But it still boils down to the, being able to talk about stuff, right? To communicate. Mm -hmm. like, you have to be able, be willing to do that. The worst thing in a relationship is then facing the natural progression of life, change. We keep going back to where it starts as if it shouldn't change. And it can't stay stagnant, it can't stay static. We yeah. can't, and someone will meet you. When will they meet you? And I saw this. When will they meet you? Instead of <clears throat> dealing with the change, communicate the change, <laughs> accepting, compromise, and move forward. No, sir. And I saw. Miss Sarah, so you the willing to climb the roof. You're not even walk up on the step now. <laughs> you remember how you didn't love being a man, pan bed, pan floor against wall, and I'm so that you were bed. You know, <laughs> we're always going back, wow. looking back. You know, and that that that's from both sides. Both you're sides. Cool. You're mature. Change. We change. We go this way. How we bring it back is work. Communication, commitment, because mm. we got it. We're going to change. We are diff this two become one. That's another topic. Because the understanding behind the two become one. Oh one in one. One in what? One in work, one in dedication, one in communication. You understand me? That's where the one is, you know. Mm -hmm. The one is not in how we progress as progress. an individual. It's not that. When we individual, you know. No, we're still individual. It's like, well, we're not going to be the religion still, but it's like I am more than one person. If you look on the person, I'm a son. The first thing I, when I was born, I was a son. Oh. My mom and my dad. Then I, I became a, a, a sibling. And I become father. I'm an uncle. And there are different roles. Yes. I'm you a know. worker. I'm a leader. I'm a manager. But I am this one person with different roles. Yes. And life journey pulls you all over. I can't be the same person you meet 20 years ago. Can't. And you can't yeah. be the same yeah. person. Because 20 years what I experience, you accumulate. It take it sometimes it changes for the better, sometimes for the worse. Yeah. But it shapes your thoughts. Right? Yeah. It shapes yeah. your thoughts. It shapes who you are. I always tell people you have to think about it. The same way we think about our taste buds, right? Every two weeks, we got a new taste bud. Growing up, I hated cabbage, strawberry. I couldn't even eat them. Now, I love them. Mm. Right? Because it changes. And so right. that forces you to try new things over and over. Because mm. you might not like it one day, but five years from now, you might find out that you love it. Yeah, you know, Winsome, that answered the question why people would eat at a restaurant. I said, what's the best restaurant? Four months on the line, and I said, I want this. Is that the food change? Is that it's taste buds change? Yeah, taste buds change. People don't know it, but it's it's true. That is so true. Because the other day at lunch, I, I was telling this guy, oh, man, you have to have fuku chicken, right? And I build it up. <laughs> and I have had fuku in probably two, three years. So we had fuku Friday for lunch. I'm a tsunami, I'm a wagwan. Listen, then drop off. And then because we build it up, so I said to him, so it tastes, so I said, yeah, it tastes good. I'm a tsunami, man. It is just better than this. <laughs> well, I just said, your taste, but move on, leave it. Your taste, but move on. 
Yeah. Yeah. I never looked at it. No. Yeah, I might get a different perspective on the taste bud thing. You know. But you can't tell your wife that though. So your taste bud move on for now cooking. Yeah, you're mad. <laughs> you're mad. <laughs> more, more could you tell with some dance. <laughs> You better, you better enjoy the food like on the first day I I I cook a lot. I have um, dinner every July. I have a I call it a kid lit dinner party where I invite writers, agents, and editors. They come to Connecticut. We have bounce house outside and popcorn machine. Just have a a bar, and people look forward to my cooking. I love to cook. I was actually married to a chef. I love to cook. I cook all the time. And the other day I made some ribs and I'm like, wait, something is off. Listen. But I'm the only one eating it. But that's telling me my taste buds are changing because I'm really good at making ribs. And so I invited Don. I said, you have to come and taste these ribs. And she's like, oh, you make the best ribs. And she's like, nothing wrong with it. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? I can't enjoy it. But taste Let you make it. I'm still gonna make it. <laughs> but I'm saying you made it. You know. Yeah, I made it. I made it. You might have to change the ingredients to catch up the taste buds. You know. Yeah, it, for, yeah, for me, or just try different things. That's why I always try tell different people. Things. You know, I'm one of those people. If I say I don't like a food, it means I tried it and I really don't like it. And I don't like stuff for different reasons, right? It could be the texture, the texture problem. I don't like the way it tastes uh, myself. Just different things. But I will never say I don't like something. If I say I don't like it, that means I tried, tried it. it. Yeah. yeah, some people will never try things. I, d I don't like it. Why? Have you ever had it before? No, but never. I know that I know oh. that I won't like it. Oh. Like what? Oh, oh! You know that you won't like it. Yeah. I've never tried it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. When it's people like a, tell me that, it's like a woman tell me, "I know that I'm not gonna like you, and you just meet me." Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you look like a womanizer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna like you. <laughs> you look like a whole baboon. <laughs> 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 You look like a banana man. <laughs> so. No, you get that when you grow up. You get that when you grow up, man. You get that and say, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. you're too friendly. You look like you just come to me and just start that. You know how much money I go to do? No. No. Yeah, no. I true. I true. Yeah, you look at me. Now, that woman Aye. that told you that, so she has some trauma problems. I always had a problem with that. With women or men, right? Women or men, like when you're being nice or you're kind, then yeah. when you're too nice, you're too, you're too not nice. used to people being good to you. Uh, true, that's, true, that's true, true, that's true, true, that's true, how you true, true. Because you're just being yourself, right? You're being kind, like you're supposed. Oh, you're too nice. That means you're up to something. Nice. You're up to something. Yeah. <laughs> and could, that's your trauma. It could be a simple thing, like the culture, you know, like a woman go in a certain environment. Yo. <laughs> then you come with your little polish self and say, hi, hi, how are you? You sound like a prodigy. <laughs> no, but me live here. You, you, live, know it. you live, live in 50 years, right? <laughs> and then you come with your polish self now, you well groom and you Ooh. brought up. Hi, <laughs> how are you today? Which aquarium in jump out? No, sir. Winsome says you just don't use to that. <laughs> Nobody has ever complimented her before. Winter. Winter. Yes. Which one you rather? Yeah, come here. Uh, how, how are you doing? How is it going? Which one you're at? But I don't think I don't think it's a matter of which one you prefer, right? Mm -hmm. I want you to respect me because I'll never disrespect you. No, but no, I, no. Hear me out. Hear me yeah, out. No. Someone said, "Hey, y'all, come here." Uh -huh. I know he's not. I'm not going to go home with him because he's not for me. He don't even know how to communicate. <laughs> this is the type of stuff I'm trying to tell you. You know, uh -huh. people are not. Uh -huh. for you. Uh -huh. May I give another one, Winsome? 
I'm not sure, you know, how your physique. I'm not remember your physique still because the last time I see you, I go to school. I gained weight. I gained a lot of weight. No, but say ever, you know, I say, yeah, <laughs> body girl. <laughs> Stop up that, you know. It make your juice. It make your feel sexy and your juice and go, you know, because my compliment you in a theme way. Actually, it doesn't. What it says to me, you're a fucking idiot. And I see why you're in these streets <laughs> trying to get somebody because you don't know how to communicate. <laughs> No, but winter, winter. You know, sir, to be honest and to be fair, I just maybe feel we have communication, but you might genuinely um have really mean your good. Right. Right. You might, you might, know better. You know, no. I hear you. I hear He's failing, you. But there you go again. Then we talk about being vulnerable and knowing what we want. And what I want, I don't want a man telling me, oh, y'all call me my smart. That's not what I want. We're uh, not going to work. Because in my head, I'm like, this dude don't know. Right now, he probably go to bed and I fucking probably just slice his throat. Like, real talk. Jesus, peace. You cannot talk. To, you talk to people how you want to be. All the situation ain't about the same. We are here. We are here. We are here. Hey. Yo, oh, please don't put this on YouTube. Hey, <laughs> no, I'm in Jamaica. I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. Yo, <laughs> everyone have to sleep with them. Have to sleep with one eye. What with some? Go ahead. I have pleasure. No, but me never talk about it. Taking shit, but I run into for the best behavior. Them have to do so. I, I, you know, I'll, no, I'll say, honey, 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 we are good, honey. We're good, right? <laughs> we're good. Listen, I I can really sense how who people are. Honestly, real talk, put all the jokes to the side. I know what's what's for me. Like I'm gonna feel it. If you're genuine, I can feel it. I can feel it. But no, please do not get it twisted. You're not gonna call me bitch, but because that's how. Like even when I hear female like that's my bitch. What's that? That's yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. A female dog? We don't roll like that. You're uh, not never gonna be my friend. I mean, I like the dark thing amongst men either, but yeah. each different one, you know. Is that slang? Is that, is that modern right? the but, but that's they why they, that's why you see those same in the street. Some the, trying that's, to find that's that's one we can't use the, the n-word part. There. We don't know black what people call the money that time. Hell no. Yeah, I mean, I have a problem with that one, you know. It's a bro, <laughs> dude, brother, party. There's so many others. Why we are gonna choose the negative ones, you know? No, no, no. The part may I reserve then why complain when uh, from another nationality say you have a problem, and, you know? Ah, uh, yes, yeah. And them, them polished staff, man. It's no, if, 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 it, if it's bad for one, it's supposed bad for you. Yeah, it's supposed yeah. to. But, but they, they're, they're not issue. under, and that's what I, they're quick to say, well, they say it in rap songs. No, 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 no. That, that is, that I is. I don't listen to those rap songs that say yeah, that, it. Yeah, that is, you know. My dogs and men, yeah, uh, men are subscribed. But Winsome, when last you've been here, back home? 1987. I lied, 2000. On a cruise. You know, no, 1987. Come <laughs> <laughs> right? You're right, bye. <laughs> Let's go right back to 1987 because yeah, I don't, I don't fly now. Hey, oh. you have a prop, you, you don't like flying? Yeah. No, I don't like, yeah, I don't fly. Oh, but you're gonna bungee jump next week. Yeah, I'm gonna test my limits in the summer. So we say, you, you will fly, you will fly again, you will fly again. Maybe if I bungee, she might definitely not fly. <laughs> After the bungee, I know. It's no, it's just success. No, if she succeed in doing it in terms of feeling. Good about the experience. Yeah, then it's it's a, to the next one and I the next one. Enough to do the bungee, she might. But me not do it enough. Me not do it. Me watch you do it. But me not do that. I'm afraid of high one thing. So me not jump up on nothing. Not for the parachute. You know that try parachute. Yeah. Me not do that. No. I went parasailing before. Because you can't go parachuting. You never go on a plane. Yeah, but I did parachute when I was in the army. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a mess. You do a lot of things. <laughs> Lives. I'm on this, I literally feel like I'm on my second life. So I'm doing things different. I'm maneuvering yeah. it differently. I navigate so, differently. So when you were fearless, no, you're fearful. 
Well, you but know. I'm fearful by choice. By choice. Yeah. So, so you know, it's controlling us, it's taking back control. Of yeah, and everybody should have control of them destiny or what them want, know what them want, what them don't want. So let me ask you this question. I'm going to pick your brain for a minute. Uh, you know, if I get to your business, you let me know. I would like, rather you not, I would rather you not get in my business and put it on YouTube. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Let, let me know if I get to your business, you know, cause um at this point now where what what type of what would you be looking for like in a your ideal type of man? Well, to be fully transparent, I do have a date next Tuesday oh, at seven. That's not what I'm asking about. I'm getting ready to tell you with a doctor at Yale. So I read for me. I like people that like to read. Like I feel like readers are a different breed of men. So if you love books, more likely. I'm Yo, man, I start read starting tomorrow, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you got to be reading with me, you and your wife. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Eating below the belt is not is not <laughs> allowed. It's not welcome. <laughs> it's <not> painful. <laughs> That was a low blow. With, uh, oh, yes, you've been married 30 years and now you're going to read so you can go and <laughs> what, what are yeah. we doing here? Yeah. I, I, yeah. It does sound excited to be that type of man. I want to be that type of man. That's all. Oh, okay. A well read man. List of books. <laughs> she said, there's something about a well read man. It does, sound, it does sound sexy, you know? So They can appreciate that, right? People yeah. that appreciate books, it means they appreciate knowledge. And it means they're, they're open-minded, and that's good. We all don't Never. think one way, so we shouldn't function one that, That's your taste. That is your taste. That is your taste. Yeah. So it's a good start. <laughs> and we are, we, are, we are happy for you. Thank and you. And we're looking forward. We are, we are best, you know, so we are looking forward for the date. We are all on that date. You know? <laughs> good luck, good luck, good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> And um, next time we'll talk, uh, we'll go, uh, if one of us remember, I think Sammy will remember. <laughs> Why? Oh, what? That? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, when we Sammy will say, oh, is that Albert, Dr. Albert? <laughs> <You know? laughs> Honestly, I, I'm not crying in a business. I, <laughs> I, just like, I just like people. I don't, I don't have to. For me, it's not like, well, he has to be this. I have a list of, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I no, just but want you to have your taste. be good people. You have your, you have your taste. You have your taste. Yeah. It's supposed to be a street man and him love read. I know if man on the street love reading. Um, yeah, I don't mind. I just, okay. for me, I just want someone that when they see me coming in with 20 books, they're not flipping oh. out. I go to the books. What do you mean coming like, in? Not on, on the date. Not, not on the date. Not, not on the date, Winsome. <laughs> <with the 20 laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Not That's on the date with the 20 books. With the 20 books. <laughs> Listen, I had to get back surgery because my book bag was too heavy. No, but with some, <laughs> you're not going on the date with books. I always have books on me. Tell them, cuz. Yes, man. Suitcase up. Suitcase. Yes. Um, with some, with some, can you go on the date with a book? We go to a book. No. Just, just, just fix up yourself, sex up yourself. <laughs> no, no book. Did you, did you say you're going to walk in at least one book. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. The, yeah, man. The, the, yeah. the reason why you travel with a book, because say you have to sit and wait, you have something to occupy your time. No, when someone oh, tried to. Yeah, no pun it. No pun it. Make it say that the car or out a door or, you know, now your bag, but that, that's going to. No, he's going to be early. So when he arrives, he will be there waiting on you. Anticipate that and leave the book at home. Yeah, man. <laughs> Listen, that's how I know y'all are not the men for me because you already tell me I can't travel with books. We got a problem. No, me, me no not man, but that's why you try. So, it's like you try the, the bungee jumping thing. Wait, so it's like you try the bungee look, jumping. Look, 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 something. look, 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 Double, double, that. Okay. But with some, it's like we're going to try the no, bungee no, jumping. No. I wanted to try something new. I will. No. No Remember, books. this is a second life, you know. And in the first life,
books on date were the norm. In I didn't know it was in the norm. Oh, oh but the, sec- the norm. And the second life of book on norm, you know. The book on that's right. It's the second the life second of the uh, norm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. It's part of the second life, and it was it's working for me. Oh, oh, I think I thought it was the norm. Okay. No. No. Okay. He I will, remember growing I, up, Craig. Read, I watched Craig read more books growing up than I did. I guess we do to him win some. Wow, we do. We do. So I do to him. Him stop, stop reading. Stop reading. Not read them more. He don't <laughs> read all the time. No. Craig read all the time on his read. phone. I see him. Not as much though. Not as much. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> read, man. Yeah. Still read yeah. yeah. Especially on the train. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. You know, oh, you have so, time. Oh, you have um, time. Yeah. All right, you well, Winsome, um, um, may I admit? Much more time, too. It doesn't make no sense to lie and pretend. Never was. I'm going to get the second life there yet for the start. So, I don't know. But the reading? Yeah, the reading thing there. Yeah, I'm not an avid. Avid, yeah, I read, avid. I do no. read when I need to know something, but I'm not an avid reader, you know. I'm a, I'm an information junkie, you know. No. So, you must get information, but we get it. We just get it different. I engage in conversation and debates. I will read when I see something or hear something, I read upon it. But they're talking about the avid, avid, avid. Reader. I'm constantly reading. Yeah, <laughs> I read more so nonfiction. Um, I read more so fiction. Craig read a lot of nonfiction. He reads for knowledge and I read to be entertained. No, I read to be oh. entertained. Oh, oh, so you read a lot yeah. of fiction? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you read a lot. Most I thought, you know, I thought it was for information. Um, oh, I'm glad you, I'm glad you mentioned that, Winsome. Well, there's, well, the, the purpose why we have stories or we have books, for, yeah. to, per, books to persuade, to inform, or to entertain. Mm-hmm. I try to... I, so I, I read to entertain, but I, I, I'm an information junkie, so I'm constantly researching and reading shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't limit yourself to what you read. I just love great literature. I, I just always want to read. Some, whether, you know, sometimes it could be poetry. Like next week, on the first, I'm going to go meet Nikki Giovanni. So I start, I went back to read the 100 best poems by African-American mm-hmm. authors that she edited. And I, I Nikki, just, Nikki, Nikki Virgiani? Giovanni. <laughs> Giovanni, may I write it down go and research her? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. She was on yeah. the Cosby Show, A Different World. President Obama gave her Medal of Freedom. She's amazing. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I tell her, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be a different person. So. There you go. I'm glad I'm here to balance you out and make you better and vulnerable. Hey. Yeah, and don't mention, don't mention nothing about the wife. It was <laughs> me. <laughs> That's cool. You're up by you. <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know somebody used to eat it. Um, so uh, you, you, you drop a line. It, it, it might, you know, you know, it might, maybe. You're going somewhere, you know, sucking. Going somewhere. Um, so oh, it's a wife. <laughs> oh, that drop in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that relevant at this point? Oh, yeah. The powers that check you, check you right here, check you. That's true, yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. pay attention to my environment. And I, yeah. and I heard that 30. That's all. And I, I heard that 30. So, hey, and that's, hey. Congrats on that. It's a long time. <laughs> Why? Wow, it's a mistake. The third dance said, Yes. He moved on this song. That the weasel, eh? Can I come back once? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Sammy, you have a number? Eh? You have a number? Yeah, me, me, me show it at 30 and just grab on. But you have a number? No English. No English. No, I'm black. Hey, <laughs> hey, the man, 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 Thanks for um, Lady Love. Lady Love that yes. left earlier. Thanks for our resident um, guest, Sammy. Sammy. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, it, it's no feature guest I get it, but it's one away. One away. <laughs>
And as usual, Prof will take us out as so, with some reminders. Yeah. Um, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and um, engage. You know, um, and if you disagree with any of our topics, you are more than welcome to join us. Okay. Yeah, if you want to set us straight characters, or uh, add something, or subtract something, no problem. All views content right here. We don't have a problem with that. Yeah. <laughs> and we are not, we are not um, biased. Not doing that. Not doing that. Win some <laughs> disclaimer. <laughs> I know, right? We like we need it. <laughs> We're ending uh, like you we start. You guys were gentle, so I appreciate we're it. We're ending like we start. Combative. <laughs> well, you know, well, we're not combative. We're passionate. Right. But but it was good. It was good to get um, a female perspective uh, for once. Uh, and I'm yeah. just only one female. Now, I'm not speak for everybody. But I do speak for a crew of... Yeah, but you others. represented well. You represented well. Well, thank yeah. you. Okay. So, on that note, let's bye for a yeah. Have a nice weekend. See if we can. Bye, guys. Bye, bye guys. Thanks for having me. Bye, Love guys. You all. Bye, Love guys. it, us. Bye, bye. Oh, that was for Winsome. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos. And don't forget to comment and hit that notification bell. This has been another episode of Teach and the Prof.